Hey everybody, it's Mitch, and welcome to another episode of my D&D Top 3 5 E. And today, we are going to be doing my Top 3 5, uh, or my uh, opinions on the Top 3 5 best classes in D&D 3.5. And yes, this is my opinions on the most powerful best class in the game. Uh, so let's get started. At number 3, we have the Sorcerer. Now, the Sorcerer is a very powerful class. They have a strong, strong uh, spell list um, with those Sorcerer spells. They've got a number of unique spells as well, plus one of the largest uh, amounts of, uh, uh, the, one of the largest numbers of spell slots of any class in the game. Um, however, uh, they are a spontaneous, and they are spontaneous casters, so they don't have to prepare their spells, which is nice. However, of course, there is the downside of, um, you know, not being able to cast their spells um, um, uh, with a, you know, meta magic unless they, um, you know, make it a full round action unless they take a bunch of feet. So there's gonna, there's, they got dinged a little bit for that, um, that and the limited number of spells known. So, you know, sorcerer had to take a little bit of a hit because of that. But yeah, number three for sorcerer. Now at number two we have the wizard. Um, very similar to Sorcerer, basically the same spell list, um, other than they, uh, missing a few uh, spells and with a couple of extra ones. Um, a couple of extra ones are ones that are basically useless to Sorcerers anyways, though. Uh, anyways, um, so the Wizard, they, um, the reason, a big reason why I put them ahead of uh, Sorcerer, despite the fact that they do get less uh, spell slots uh, and they do have to prepare their spells each day, um, they basically have unlimited spells known. They can just get more um, using uh, scrolls. So they can get kind of as many as they want, and that's really nice. Um, uh, and, you know, the fact that they have that flexibility um, with all those spells known to really prepare for any situation is kind of a big deal. Um, so yeah, they, you know, uh, a lot better in more situations. Um, plus they get their spells, um, a level earlier than, uh, sorcerers, except for first level, of course, and zero, I guess. Um, but, um, for second through ninth level, they get them a level earlier. So yeah, wizard, I'm going to have to put that at number two. Now at number one, we have the druid. Now the druid is there. Um, great spell list. Um, I would say not quite as good as the Wizard and Sorcerer, but way up there. Um, now they have all their spells. They don't have like they just know every spell in the Druid spell list automatically. They don't have a spells known list. They are going to have to prepare them each day, but that's not a huge issue. Um, not only that, but on top of that, um, they also have the ability to you know cast uh, in armor, which is pretty nice. Yeah, they have that restriction of um, you know not being able to wear metal armor, but Honestly, that's not a huge deal. There's plenty of ways around that. Uh, on top of that, you know, they also get wild shape and an animal companion. So, you know, both of which are pretty nice things to have. That animal companion can be, you know, a really, really big boon uh, in battle. Um, uh, it also, wild shape is just really powerful. And there are ways to use wild shape and cast at the same time, even though normally you can't. It's easy enough to get around that. Um, yeah, Druid just super, super powerful, a lot going on with it. Oh, and a decent base attack bonus, um, and decent hit dice, unlike the Wizard and Sorcerer who had garbage on both of those. Uh, so yeah, uh, Druid, definitely, uh, number one strongest class in D&D 3.5. Uh, and finally, at 3.5, we have the Cleric. If you enjoyed the video, consider giving it a like. Maybe subscribe to the channel for more videos on D&D 3.5. Uh, ring that notification bell so you never miss out on a video. Um, but anyways, as always, I'm Mitch, and I'll be seeing you.